Hey there, this is Dr. Justin. Again, this is the holiday season. Everyone's getting sick. Everyone needs an immune boost. So today's talk is going to be on vitamin D. And we're going to talk about how it can actually help your immune system, help your mood, and also help you lose weight, especially if you're deficient in vitamin D. So let's first go into vitamin D. Vitamin D is actually a hormone. It's, they call it a vitamin, but it's really not. It's really a hormone. And when we supplement vitamin D, we're giving precursor vitamin D3 that goes to the liver and gets converted into active vitamin D. So again, a couple of things here that we're going to address. The immune balancing benefits, the weight loss, as well as the sex hormone benefits of vitamin D. Now regarding immune balancing, to keep it simple, we have a, a, two branches of our immune system called our Th1 and Th2 immune system. Th1 is our natural killer side. This is like the special forces, like the Navy SEALs or the Delta Force or the Army Rangers that jump in, they want to attack the issue head on first. Then we have the Th2, which is the humoral immune system. This kind of comes in about seven days later. This is like where our B cells come in our memory cells, they come in seven days later, about a week later, and we have our natural killer cells or our cytotoxic immune system, humoral cytotoxic. These are our special forces, Navy SEAL, Army, etc. Now most people, they have this out of balance, especially if they're autoimmune, we may see a significant higher amount of the TH1 immune system. Also, we may have this just totally suppressed in some people that have just weak immune systems. So to kind of talk about the immune balancing aspect, we have these cells known as Treg. And Treg cells are influenced by vitamin D. So if our vitamin D is low, Treg is not going to have the ability to come in here and manipulate the sides that are deficient or the sides that are too high. So Treg has an effect on balancing this out naturally. And also vitamin D also has an effect of balancing out and blocking our Th17. So our Th17 part of the immune system tends to have a more inflammatory effect. So if we can block that out, and if we boost up our Treg, that's gonna have a balancing, a modulating effect, if you will, on our Th1, right, our natural killers, and then our Th2 on our B cell, or our antibody side of the immune system. Now also, vitamin D has an effect on this natural antibiotic our, bo our body makes called cathelicidin. And cathelicidin upregulates these antibacterial enzymes that can actually break down bacteria and break down lipopolysaccharides. So quick review, bacteria cell wall, the outer part of the bacterial cell walls are lipopolysaccharides and these can cause leaky gut and inflammation and they can also affect your mood and how you feel. So again, the immune balancing effect of vitamin D comes in multiple ways via T8, T reg, via balancing Th1, Th2. There's also a good deal of evidence showing that it actually boosts Th2 side of the immune system, but and also blocking out Th17 and increasing cathelicidin and our body's natural antibiotics. That's the benefits from an immune perspective. Weight loss. My father actually came to me recently saying, hey Justin, I changed my vitamin D last month. Nothing else has changed in my diet and I've lost 10 pounds. You know, what do you think it could be? So I got on PubMed and I started looking for mechanisms in which vitamin D actually promotes weight loss. And I found a study that was just completed in April of this year, or actually April of last year now, 2014, in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Now the study was done on 300 or so postmenopausal females, but what they found is the study showed that when the vitamin D got above 30, 32 to be exact in this study, so when it got above 32 milligrams per milliliter, there was a significant weight loss in those females. And what the mechanism that suggested is, is that vitamin D has an effect on insulin. So it decreased insulin levels and it also decreased CRP. And CRP is a marker for inflammation. So what vitamin D did, let's recap that again, it reduced inflammation and it reduced insulin resistance or it lowered our insulin levels. So insulin again is the hormone we needed to bring glucose and fuel into our cells but what happens is with higher levels of insulin it starts shuttling sugar, excess sugar into our 
um, muscles into our body and it starts converting a lot of that extra sugar into fat. So once our muscles and liver are saturated, that sugar gets converted into fat. So insulin will shuttle the extra carbohydrate into fat. And it will also, with the CRP side of it, increase inflammation, will increase cortisol and adrenaline. That will then thus raise our blood sugar. With higher blood sugar, we're also going to have a higher amount of insulin. So in inflammation increases insulin. Poor diet increases insulin. And vitamin D has an effect on lowering inflammation and also lowering insulin. Inflammation is lower, we're not going to have as much stress hormones that would naturally increase blood sugar again. So a little bit complicated there, but again, the study was pretty conclusive that once you got to 32 or greater, there was a significant reduction in weight loss for those female patients. Now again, I can't extrapolate it to all people in society, but I think it's definitely a must to get your blood levels of vitamin D above 32. I recommend 50 to 80 or even 60 to 100. Autoimmune patients should be closer to 100 just because of the effects that vitamin D has for autoimmune patients. I'll put two or three different studies that I read that referenced all of this information so you can take a look at the actual sources. So weight loss, really great benefits there. Also sex hormone. So vitamin D has an effect on sex hormone production. Well, anytime we have insulin resistance and inflammation, that's going to have a big effect on sex hormone production. But there's also receptors for vitamin D all throughout the body, especially in are um, in the, the tracts and the parts of the body, especially the sperm cells in the epididymis and in the, the female organs that produce hormones, estrogen and testosterone. And there's one study that showed that vitamin D can have an effect on the biosynthesis of testosterone in males and estrogen in females. So it's possible the receptor sites are there and the ability for the body to use vitamin D is kind of a jump start to make some of those hormones is possible and I read that in one study. So again, vitamin D can have an effect in testosterone in men and vitamin D, excuse me, testosterone in men and estrogen in women have an effect also on how they feel and their mood. So for instance, estrogen has an effect on holding or basically it's like a natural um, ser selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor for serotonin. It also increases dopamine between the brain synapses and it also increases GABA which promotes relaxation. That's why most people in the wintertime get sad or seasonal affective disorder where they start feeling depressed because of the lack of sun. Well, now we're starting to know why. The research is starting to come full circle. We're starting to get the mechanism. It has to do with the fact of increasing testosterone in men and increasing estrogen in females and how that affects the neurotransmitters, GABA, serotonin, and dopamine. So action items right now, go out and get a 25 hydroxy vitamin D test. Make sure you're at least over 32 according to one study. I would go as high as 50. Again, vitamin D has really come full circle in the last decade. We used to think it just had to do with um, calcium and phosphorus, homeostasis as well as bone health, but it has to do much more. And these are three good areas that are kind of coming about in the research. So make sure your vitamin D levels are optimized uh, this winter. And again, if you uh, have an autoimmune condition or you're trying to improve some of these areas and want to look a little deeper, feel free and find my information below to get access to me. Thanks and have a great day.